Good day, everyone. My name is Oyele Lawale, and today we'll be talking about how to add additional players to your to your Swiss manager. That is, after you've <laughs> you've um, paired for the first round, and how to modify a player's name in case there's an error in their names. Okay, so let's start. First of all, um, how to uh, add additional players. For example, here we have the startup playing ranking list already. This is the startup ranking list. And all we need to do the, here is to um, maybe um, two or three players just came in into the tournament and you want to have them into um, the startup list. Fine, just click on input, go to um, enter players, then click on input manually, then you can type their names. Uh, provided they are new players that their names are not on free day, you can just type their names. For example, James Fashogmon. Just come in, um, press down, next one. And uh, let's say Peter uh, Femi second. Femi second. And finally, um, Ajayi Ulu Bola is third. So these are the three players that are just joining your tournament. Uh, uh, let me add one more. Let me add one more. Uh, P, uh, let me add um, um, Julio. Oh, no. no, 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 no. Julio Favor. Now let's have these guys. These are the these are the players that are joining your tournament. James, Peter, Ajayi, and Julio. They're just joining your tournaments. Okay. So after they joined, and um, you just go for the pairing. Okay. Click on pairings. Um, first, you can go first things go to input and we sort their start ranking list. It's very important. Sort their start ranking list. Then you can now click on pairings, computer pairings. Then you start. And um, okay. Okay. Now, after starting, you will see the pairing. This is a pairing. Yeah. But, and notice that the pairing, Temuto Kodado is on by. Right? Now, the arbiter, you tell the players, you know, it's, it's, you know the tournament is starting in the next two minutes. Start all clocks, you know, whatever. The time starts, start all clocks. You know what I'm talking about. So, once it starts the, uh, the, ta the start of the tournament, or the start of the round, and all of a sudden, you know, remember this is first round. Now, a guy walks in. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm seeing this tournament venue for the first time, and I did not know the process. I'm just, I would love to participate in this tournament. And you're like, okay, you have room to accommodate him to play in the tournament. Um, you approach me, start to talk about Olaju. Say, oh, he's also playing. Who is on by? Like, me start to talk about. Would you like to play? Because we have an opponent on Ghana is just walking in, and they would like to play in this tournament. Uh, will Will you uh, like to play instead of just sitting down doing nothing and getting just one free point? What do you think? Yeah, you came here to pay to play a chess tournament. So I'm so sure you are ready to fight from round one to round six or round seven. Now it is Mr. Olaju's choice now to now say, you know what? Let's go. Please, pay me. I, I, I don't like walking and seeing people play. I actually came to play. Okay, good. And there we go. You click on input and um, enter players again. Then this time around, input manually. You type the name of the new player just coming in. For example, Lion Courage. Lion Courage just came in. You type his name in there and you click on OK. And now you have to pair. Remember, you have to pair. Now, tell me why you want him to play white. You just set a new player. Come to pairing. Set a new player. Then you see Timmy Tokwe, white. Then Lion Courage, you click on his name. Now you see, player Timmy Tokwe, that you see, as a buy. Shall players still be paid in advance? Yes. You don't want to buy anymore. So we now pair him, he's white. See, you have suggestions. Is it that you use Timmy Tokwe, that as white and Lion Courage as black? Or you use Lion Courage as white and Timmy Tokwe as black. But we want Lion to be, let's use Lion, let's make Lion white. So we will pair. And that is it. After pairing, you click on close. If you check the pairing list now by clicking on list and pairing, you will see that Lion is now paired against Timmy Topolajose. So you can adjust the clock and they can continue playing their rounds. And that is how you add players into um, a particular round. Uh, what if the player the players walked in after the round is Almost finishing, maybe they work in it like um, almost at the end of the uh, at the end of round one. So all you can do here is also um, let's say two players just entered, just enter players, input manually again. Type the name of the two players that are just coming in. For example, let's say um, 
Polali call Polali call Fisher just came in Polali call Fisher just came in and finally let's say um, Bobby Bobby Dennis is just just walking in so these two guys just walked in then you click on OK also you type their names click on OK you are not pairing them remember you are not pairing them they will start from round two and they are having zeros you, somebody can just come to your tournament towards the end to register and you will now decide to give them half a point by no it's, it's 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 not proper they start from zero because they are starting from round two if they are if they were earlier they are registered earlier they can request for a buy but in this situation no buys in this situation no buy so what we do here is to what to just go to um impute enter result after round one is over enter result for round one and we can put everybody's um result there one zero zero one alpha one zero one zero zero one zero one alpha five five one zero one zero zero one one zero one zero zero alpha five five zero one zero one so that's it we click on end so now remember we've done this also before how to make parents just click on pairing computer parents and you're going to run so mind you we have to resort the start ranking list again because we just had a new player so let's take a cancel go to impute we sort start ranking list you see we sort start ranking list yes and now you click on parents now computer parents start and then we click on okay yes if you click on check the list of um parents look at the players instead of having um, we remember we stopped at board 40 now we are on board um, I mean board 20 now we are on 21 we now have 42 players and that's it and you you know they are done with the round you input your result and you continue as as um, you can so during the tournament um, suddenly uh, one of the new players rushed up to you to tell you that you've made a mistake in the name that his name he wants to have probably that his name is not lion courage his, his name is actually zion courage so it was a mistake instead of lion instead of zion courage we actually typed lion courage so all we need to do in order to um change his name is to just go to impute update players then look for him lion courage we said his name as lion here this is lion then we click lion then we change it to zion just type z i o n on it and that's it and his name will be changed it's updated it's corrected okay so if i come back here and i click on list parents again now suddenly you see it is now zion courage and no longer lion courage so that is the easiest way of updating the names of any um, chess player um, in your tournament or update players just click on update input update players then you can look for the name and update whatever the name is even if it is the um, rating you can update the rating you can update the uh, you cannot update this date of birth actually there are some things you can and there's some things you can't except you are going to type it manually yourself for example Jerry Balogun does not have you might end up typing it manually but you don't need all this information all you need is the name and the um the rating okay if you have or the feed ID if it is man if they are just generating it and it's not yet updated on the feed website you can just type it manually for the sake of um, sending it to feed for related purposes of course that's a topic for another day anyway so that is it that is all you need to know regarding updating the player's name and adding um, players to your start ranking list for a, um, a tournament so that's it uh, remain sincerely yours and watch out for the next video um, coming up also very soon Just for now.